welcome back to Rue's life. It is early on Sunday, I think, possibly morning. <laughs> They're all blurring into one at the moment. I'm still in my pyjamas. I've just come out to water and it just struck me that since I did my uh, June tour, I've actually done quite a lot since then. So you should have seen by now the video of us building one of the compost bays. So I'm going to show you the three bays now in situ um, and how we've put them and just a little update of what I've been up to here. So as I said, I've got my coffee. I need to just do some watering and I'm going to give you a little update to show you some of the changes because it's quite a long time until July and uh, I'm quite excited to show you what I've been doing. So we'll start outside here. These are the three now new compost bays and I did decide in the end just to put one, two, three. And then that at the end there is has some leaf mould in it at the moment which uh, from last autumn's leaves. We've got the little pot of rhubarb here which is looking much happier because it's got more space. And then you can see my original bay uh, which I'm just going to leave that one to rot down now. And this one, which is one of the other originals, which the um, sides have really rotted and broken on. But we've got a load of potatoes, which is great uh, growing in that one. And then the other update, so I'll just take you across to the flower bed. So I've now planted out all of the flowers that I've been growing. So I lost um, quite a lot of the first flowers that I put out. Some have done quite well. Um, but I didn't wait for long enough for my nematodes to kick in. The temperatures have been a little bit cold as well, which didn't help with the nematode situation. And I hadn't put any beer traps out. So now I've got, if I just tilt you down, I've got a beer trap here and a beer trap at that end. And I've now filled this bed up with all of the flowers that I've sown from seed and had been bringing on in the polytunnel. So we've got some lupins, um, there's a dahlia, we have got uh, Livingston daisy, oh goodness, snapdragons, there's all sorts in there. So fingers crossed, now that we've got the slug situation under control, that these will start to develop and I'm going to have some lovely colour in this bed. And you can just see at the end there that the um, calendula are already starting to flower. And then the other thing I've got to show you out here, we'll just move across. So in bed number one here, um, where I'd popped the turnip seedlings and some beetroot seedlings, and I also direct sowed some beetroot and some carrots. And we've got some really good germination here on the two rows of beetroot here. Again, we've now popped in. Chris has been making me these fantastic um, slug traps. So I've got one at this end and one at the other end. No germination yet on the carrots or the other beetroot, but things are looking okay. And since I've put the beer traps in, the remaining turnip are looking better because they were starting to get slug damage. So all in all, things are looking really good here on the plot. And let's hop in back in to the polytunnel and I'll show you a few changes in there. So first of all, these Gigantes beans are absolutely romping their way up the bean arch and I'm absolutely thrilled with those. Since I've given them a little feed, the other beans, so the um, Madeira Maroon and the Bellotto are looking much, much healthier. As are the sunflowers there. I've sown some um, salads, mazuna and various bits and pieces into this area. I have moved the perpetual spinach here. I'll finish this and then probably pull it up. And this chard is actually looking much healthier. We've got some really good germination on the bits and bobs that I've got in the hanging baskets. You can just about see those. Not so much over here, but we've got a little bit of the basil and the rocket here is looking great. I have put the other basil that I was growing in a pot is now into this square little mini bed. 
and I've direct sown some more of the um, dwarf beans into this bed around the other dwarf beans so they'll come a bit more successionally. The peas here are looking absolutely great and we're starting to get peas which is fantastic. So there we go look they're starting to pod up. And then finally I've got around to moving a few things to give them some more space and really help them to grow. So here I've got um, many more tomatoes that I'd initially anticipated so I was only going to do one or two plants but I ended up with quite a lot of plants from the few seeds that I sowed. So I've put one in each of these tubs and two into this one. Um, so I've got four, four of the plants. Um, so they'll be for me and I will enjoy them. I've moved my chilies into tubs out of the little pot that they were in. Then we've got the cucumber in this big tub. And I'm actually doing my courgettes. I know that they'll be huge, but I'll move things around and just let them spill out onto the floor. Um, so I'm doing my courgettes in these tubs this year rather than in a bed. And um, I say I will have to do a bit of jiggery pokery once they start to get bigger. I have grown them in tubs before um, and it is relatively successful. As I say, it just means that they do spill out onto the floor. Um, I wanted to save this bed um, because I've got some plans of what I will be putting in that. And then what I've done is if I just move you onto the staging is my squash variety. So pretty much from here all the way across for here to here are now um, squash that are now individually potted. So um, I'd sewn them into pots of either this size or this size and they had four or five in each pot. So now I've got one squash in fresh compost in each individual pot to really get them nice and mature before I put them out into that squash bed. And that's pretty much it, I think. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I just wanted to show you um, a few, as I say, of the updates. I am going to sit for a while with my magazine and my coffee. And I'm going to leave you with some footage of the development of the wildflower meadow. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you all again soon.